First step, of course, is going to be to prime your eye. I used my um, my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NW45, and I primed it all the way up to my eyebrows, which I normally do. And then on top of that, I used my new um, NYX Jumbo Pencil, and the color of this one is yellow, lemon. I'm sorry, not yellow. It's called lemon. And it's basically like, it's not the color of a lemon at all. It's like an olive color, if you, if you will. And then I took a, a, a larger flat shader brush, I applied that all the way up to about just outside my crease, and then I took this just to um, blend it out and keep it from creasing too good, too much. So I'm going to take my MAC 239 brush, and then I'm going to take Steamy by MAC, Steamy Eyeshadow, which is the color that I have here, but I don't want to bring it up to the camera because it's broken up. And this is going to go... Look how, look how this color pops on top of the screen here. Isn't that amazing? So this is going to go from the inner corner of my eye to about halfway. And we're going to be a little bit bold with this. We're going to get it over and above our crease there just a little bit. When you pack it on as opposed to as opposed to doing this swiping it on, it basically swipes the color off. For the outer corner of my eye, basically my crease, um, I'm going to be using a color by MAC called Club. You've seen me use this a few times before, but um, the reason why I used a green um, a green primer as opposed to a white to make these colors pop is because I learned that when you use um, a green color beneath Club, underneath Club, it, it really helps it stand out and make it look just like it does on the pan. And that was a trick that I learned from one of my MySpace friends, and she's also a YouTube guru, and I cannot remember her name right now. I know her name is Carolina, and she's from Puerto Rico, but I don't know her um, her username, so I just want to say thank you, Carolina, for sharing that tip with us, and I've definitely benefited from that, and I'm going to put her screen name on the sidebar because she's really, really good. She does makeup out of Puerto Rico, but that's off subject. But yeah, so I learned that from my little MySpace friend there, and... Look at that, isn't that pretty? You can also go ahead and take a blending brush, which I did before, and I totally forgot to tell you what I was doing, and just kind of like blend it out into your crease a little bit if you want. What I'm also going to do on top of that with the same brush, 239, is I'm going to take some carbon, just a tiny bit, and just dab it on there to give it a more smoky effect on the very, very outermost corner. Then I'm going to add some more club so that it just doesn't look like a black dot. Then I'm going to take an angular flat shader brush. I guess this wouldn't really be considered a shader brush, but a flat angle brush, see how it's flat like that. And I'm going to take some more carbon, and I'm going to line my bottom lash line, stopping it about right there, just leaving the inner corner there and as you can see a little bit of steamy kind of like drop down there and you're just going to leave that there and then on top of the black there you're going to add some club now for your brow bone I'm going to be using retrospect and I really like the boldness of this color because it goes along great with what we're doing here I'm just going to kind of like dab it on as I blend it in with the club there. And this color just looks really, really nice with the look that we're going for here. And be sure to also get in this area. You don't want to leave that part of your eye naked. And then um, this looks pretty much done if you want to go back and do some touch-ups and add some more color if you like. Um, and put some more steamy up there and kind of like extend it outwards a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to go back to that angular brush I used before, and I'm using my Coastal Sense Black Gel Liner, or whatever gel liner you may have, or if you have liquid eyeliner, that'll work too. And I'm going to line my top lash line. This is going to be a fairly slim line, nothing too bold, nothing too dramatic, just about, you know, just an average line. I'm going to wing it outwards to give it that cat eye, of course. 
that completes this look. Well, obviously it's not complete yet, but I'm going to line my uh, water lines with black pencil eyeliner, and I'm going to add mascara, and I'll show you guys the pictures. Thanks for watching.